Okay. this guy a lot earlier. Um, let's see who's here. Okay. Go ahead. If any questions, I'll just answer them here. Let's go ahead and make a new layer. Oh, I already did that already. Hey, what's going on? If you have any questions, let me know. Anything you want me to do. But I'm going to do this for just gonna demo this really quick about a good 30 minutes or so I'm gonna delete this layer really quick you can see under this um, I pretty much have a lighter sketch of the character what they call this is light boxing basically um, what you do is if I bring this back up to a regular it's just a really rough rough of the character this one's more of a more of the ink version of it I want to go with, and the actual grays in here I'm using for contrast because I'm not sure how the balance of the character, so I use that. I pretty much want the areas to where the dark is, the mouth, the eyes, the hat, the, the overalls, and the um, the clock and the shoes to be the darkest parts of the character, and the um, lightest parts are going to be where obviously it's white. So it helps me out a lot when I'm trying to figure out. You know, the balance of the character's costume. I'm going to sa save that here and make that into a symbol. I save everything in the symbols palette for the most part. When I work on my art, like I'll just, you know, I won't put anything in layers. I'll just put it on um, the symbols palette so I can save it for later. I might need it for something else. I might want to do a character off that again. So now that we have this here, what I'm going to do, I forgot to ask, is that, can anybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? Hear me. Yes. Oh, thank you. Huh. I spelled that weird. I'm gonna turn on my light. Turn on that light. Good, 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 good. Okay. Cool. Okay. So this is important. When you when you're doing your sketches this way, it's really important to have a cool balance at this point you don't want to have to guess too much at the color level you know so you really want to just make sure you're just keeping the colors balanced at this point see so from far away you can even tell that it's a pretty good read there so I'm gonna just go ahead and start inking out this guy I'm gonna go ahead Make sure I got a good brush first. Okay, good. Just need one. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop this in here. Duplicate this. Bring one on top here. Go lock that layer seat a little bit darker. Let's see if that contrast looks right. All right, get rid of that. Make a new layer. Lock that. Let's bring that a little bit lighter. So, okay, locked. Let's make sure this is white. If I'm going too fast or you have any questions on what I'm doing, just please ask. 
please chat it. But please type whatever you want to ask me so I can I can know. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead into this layer here. Um, make sure that line's good. Okay, the mo most important part to make sure is if you feel new brush strokes is selected or it's not gonna work, what's gonna happen if you don't have it selected? It's gonna go through. That's a lot of the problem people have when they're doing these kind of line arts is that they, it doesn't fill this. Like if you even if you put a um, a fill right here, it'll just take it off. It'll just go back to a line again. It just it just says okay, you don't want to fill that. So, but if you um, make sure that's selected, then everything will go fine. It'll keep the well once you put the line in there, <laughs> like this. See, it keeps it going. So that's what you want. And you want to start with the outermost area first. So let's go and do the actual body. I'm not going to be using the pen tool at all on this. So make sure it touches right there real clean. That's too thick. Let's go ahead and go with that. Five point brush is fine. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes. Typically, you want to do everything on the inside a little bit smaller line so that everything stands out correctly. Okay. Nice. Let's get everything in there like you want. We'll be changing the color everything later on anyway, so. Let's get the gums in here really quick. Do the gums first. The actual mouth opening first. The gums, whatever's, whatever's the furthest back you do first, so that you can build up without having to, you know, do a lot of, you know, moving up and down. You want to make sure you have it pretty much settled like that. It's a lot easier to, to ink that this way as well. Okay, I'm going to take my warp tool here and make sure that um, Simplify is taken off there because I don't want it to look too, I don't mind the strokes being have a little more to them. Alright. Some more gums there. This one's going to be more flat because it's the bottom of the mouth. Draw some here. Let's have a little bit of circle there. We could do some in the back here. I can probably wrap this around like this. But this is fine. That's all we need right there. Put some <laughs> have some fun and put some braces on him really quick. Do a line right here. It wasn't in the original sketch, but I think it'll look cool. I kind of know what braces look like, so I'm not going to go and grab reference. I mean, you guys will know what it means, you know. I never had braces as a kid, so I think that's accurate enough. guys are lucky because you know I usually charge for these so 
kind of give people a chance to maybe see some of these tutorials without having to, you know, pay my regular fee. So, enjoy. Put some of that hair right there. I could have did the, since I had to do that weird, that right here, I had to go ahead and do the hat first, and I had to do this weird, like, line here first for the hair. It would have been better for me just to do this first. Like this, and then draw the hat over that, which makes more sense, but. Sometimes I'm dyslexic like that. I don't really care. And there you go. Get the hat. Same thing right there. I could have did that, but that's fine. As long as it fits. Let's do the clock. Let's get that into shape. But first, let's do the overalls. Okay, let's do this shape here. I couldn't really see them that well. Let's do another shape here. Let's get rid of that. Let me get that stroke the same way. There we go. Let's get this right there. Let's get the leg area in here. I want some wrinkles, so I'm going to draw the wrinkles first. Wrinkle here, wrinkle here. Let's do the hands. Or the arms, more likely. One going in like this. Let's have one more going in right here. Let's have the glove area circle right there. And then we draw the furthest away finger first, because it's furthest away. Then you keep adding them like this. Make sure it's down a little bit more. Let's do the hand gesture right here. Let's bring that to the back. I forgot that part. You can just cover that right there like that. That'll be fine. Some line here, line here. see a good color for this. I like them. I'm kind of curious what color can go good there. And we'll see. We'll, we'll cross that bridge later.
very good. back here on top. That one that looked like a piece of something. Okay, that's fine. We'll make those shine a little bit right here. It's a perspective I have to keep to make someone kind of weird. this object path outline stroke and my pathfinder make it all one shape add a stroke get a thick 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 stroke there so it can pop out really good knock this one to the back there we pretty much have it guys you got any questions for me okay well that's pretty much it of the live stream um, this is my awesome Vectology um, you can go on to Vectology.com and see more tutorials like this thank you guys very much for watching